Hey everyone, welcome to the House of Worship Technology YouTube channel. I'm Matt McQueen and I have another episode of Church Tech Tip Tuesday for you today where we are gonna finish up talking about the drums for a few weeks. We've talked about different microphones and different mic techniques on basically all of the drums. We've talked about one technique for overhead miking. But the question that I want to answer today or the topic that I want to talk about is how many microphones should you use on your drum kit? And there are a couple of things that I think that you should consider in this. The first thing is definitely the size of your church auditorium. It doesn't so much matter the number of people that go to your church because you could be a relatively small church, 40 to 100 people, but you're meeting in a high school gymnasium and so you or auditorium and so you want to fill out the sound and you want to fill up the room and you want to make it sound good, you know, not overpowering definitely, but you you want it to feel like the music should feel. So in that situation, you would probably use a kick drum mic and maybe a snare drum mic and a pair of overheads. But if you're in a really small room where it's already really difficult to hear the acoustic guitar and the vocals over top of the drums, especially if your drummer's heavy handed and maybe you don't have a drum shield or maybe you do have a drum shield and, and, uh, and that helps a little bit, but you're trying to make sure that the lyrics and, and the vocals and the guitars are also heard along with the drums. You know, maybe in that situation, you don't need any drum microphones. Or maybe one of the things that you realize is that the snare drum is perfectly loud enough, but the kick drum sounds a little flat, a little pillowy. It has the chestiness, but I'm losing the attack of the kick drum. That would be a great place to use a microphone, and then use your EQ to dial in a little bit of that top end and make your kick drum a little bit more present in your mix without putting a ton of mics on your drum kit and overpowering the rest of the instruments and just kind of being back to square one where the mix doesn't make sense in the room. So I think definitely the size of your room is going to help to dictate the amount of microphones that you should put on your drum set. Snare drum, toms, even even cymbals and overheads, you know, sometimes those things tend to be perfectly loud enough on their own without adding microphones to them, especially in small rooms and especially if you haven't put up any kind of plexiglass or drum shield, you know, the fully enclosed deals, those things are great and can help to, to, to dial the sound back a little bit, dial the volume level back a little bit. The other thing though that I would consider, and this comes from some of my personal experience, I go to a really small church um, and we have a smaller auditorium that we meet in, but we have, first of all, a drum shield that's surrounding our uh, drum set, but we all use in-ear monitors. And this is where I think that miking the drum kit up and miking every element of it, even if we don't use it, can be really useful because if the bass player wants to have both of his in-ears in the entire time and all you've mic'd up is the kick drum, well it's going to be really hard for him to hear the snare drum and the hi-hat and follow the, the entire rhythm of the song if all he's really got in his ears is a little bit of the kick drum and then whatever bleed is making it to his ears around the in-ear monitors that he's using. The other scenario is obviously if you're going to record your services you're gonna want to mic the kit up with a couple of overhead mics or at least one overhead mic in mono and you're gonna want to put a couple of microphones on the toms and a microphone on the kick and at least a mic on the snare so that you can get an entire picture of the drum set. So, those are my thoughts on when and where and how many microphones that you should use. You definitely want to stay away from too many microphones. Um, you know, this isn't a recording studio in the sense of that you want to mic <laughs> every cymbal, you know, for some, you know, metal mix or something like that. You want to be minimalistic and, and get the sound of your drum kit the way that it sounds in the room, but fit it into the mix. And think about the microphones that you should use for that. You know, don't overthink it, don't overdo it. Those are the kind of things that I think of when I'm putting microphones on a kit. And there have been several Sundays that I have used a mono overhead because that's all that we really needed. Um, so I hope that that helps. If you've got questions or comments, leave them in the description below and I'll see you next Tuesday.